Hello my sweet friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my show and I'm so glad you chose to join me today. In today's tutorial, I would like to share with you how to paint Prussian blue roses in one stroke style of painting. The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. So let's begin with the first chapter that is choosing the background for the painting. So these are the elements which I have a white card base and it measures 4 inches by 6 inches in size. And here is a mandala design on a deep blue cardstock. It happens to be a leftover piece from a previous project. And here is a white watercolor paper which is again 4 inches by 6 inches in size. I have created the right hand side a bit more darker by adding some Prussian blue acrylic and a bit of mauve with a little piece of sponge. Now this piece acts as the background for the painting and I will be using all the three elements and putting them together to create the final look of the note card. And that leads us to chapter number two that is painting the roses in one stroke style. So here is the palette for today's painting. I have Prussian blue acrylic color mauve as well as white acrylic color and I'm using a flat brush number six to load it with mauve and Prussian blue. This is double loading of the brush and now I'm adding white to it so that makes it triple loading of the brush as far as one stroke style of painting is concerned. Now I have to blend the colors well for the best results possible. Now before I go on to make the roses, I pick up my flat brush number 4 and I've created a very loose form of the rose with a bit of Prussian blue and mauve added to it. And thereafter, I go ahead and start creating the first layer of the petals of the Prussian blue rose. With my flat brush number 6 which is loaded with white, Prussian blue and mauve. Now this particular style of painting is called one stroke style. So this is the Prussian blue rose in the making. Now you might be wondering why I have used such a dark color and a very unusual one to create these pretty roses and there's a reason behind it so let me tell you as you watch me paint the part of the world where i live that is bharat india recently celebrated a very unique festival called makar sankranti and that happens to fall around January 14th plus or minus a couple of days depending on the solar calendar. Now Makar Sankranti marks the day the sun transits into the Makar Rashi that is the Capricorn zodiac. This is also the day which marks the end of winter and the beginning of the new harvest season. Now the day is dedicated as a thanksgiving day to the mighty sun that is Surya Devata. We pray to the sun god for a good crop, good harvest and prosperity as well as fortune. Now this festival is observed during the coldest day of the year. Hence people don black so as to stay warm on a cold winter day as black absorbs all the heat. And that is the reason why I have chosen such a dark color for today's note card. And remember the mandala design which I showed you in the beginning of the video. I will tell you about it in a bit. 
all right so here you can see that i'm working on the third rows because all the three are more or less the same once the roses are done i move on to creating the leaves i'm still using the same three acrylic colors that is prussian blue mauve and white acrylic and i'll be using a flat brush number six and a liner brush to create the foliage for the roses so here i've picked up my liner brush and i have prussian blue on it and i'm just coloring around the edges of the roses to bring them to the foreground as i move to the left of the roses i will be diluting the color a bit so as to blend it with the white remember i showed you a mandala design in the beginning of the video by the way what is a mandala in vedic scriptures mandala means a circle it is actually a geometric design or a pattern that represents the cosmos and its various dimensions it actually represents the spiritual journey starting from the outside to the inner core through various layers of evolution and realization that's so profound and amazing well i would be teaming up this particular painted panel along with the mandala and creating a note card and dedicating it to my surya devata that is a mighty sun god and here is a surya mantra and i quote om reem suryaya namaha and that means i bow down to the magnificent sun god surya devata for his divinity and grace please bless our world the nature flora fauna and the human kind with prosperity peace and happiness on that note i return to the painting again and here i'm trying to create the one stroke style of leaves do you like what you see do let me know in the comments below because it's a great pleasure to read your thoughts and i would be so happy to communicate with you in case you would like to know more about one stroke style of painting or you would like to refresh your stroke skills then i would encourage you to please visit my past videos and i would be dropping some of the links in the description box below all right in the next step i have picked up my flat brush number 4 with acrylic white on it and i'm just coloring the lighter part of the painted panel and making it more white and clean in the process here the painted panel is ready as you see so in the next chapter i would be showing you how i assembled the note card so here are the elements once again this is the painted panel some more painted leaves on a separate sheet of scratch paper the mandala design on a deep blue card stock and the white card base and when i put all the elements together this is the finished look of the note card so what is your opinion about it i'm really anxious to know and it would be a great pleasure to read your comments and your suggestions are welcome as well
I would also like to invite you to my social media handles and I would be very happy to be in touch with you. Immense thanks for visiting my channel and I really appreciate your love and support for my work. Here are some of my older painting tutorials in one stroke style. You might like them as well. And as always, thank you for watching till the end. We'll be back very soon. Till then, stay tuned and bye-bye.